ever bought a new pair of glasses if you wear glasses or just uh, you could say sunglasses a new pair of glasses put them on the countertop and then turn they're sitting I mean I literally set my glasses right there on the countertop I turned to grab something else and then I smacked them off <laughs> with my hand they hit the ground the one lens goes flying across what's wrong with my what happened here <laughs> one lens goes flying across my kitchen floor so right now I'm running over to America's Best I don't even know if America's Best I don't know if it's got to be the ones you bought it at or if I could just take my glasses in there and say hey somehow these glasses the lens popped out of them I I don't know that I know exactly how the lens well, other than me doing a kung fu chop on them, uh, how the lids, well, let's just put it this way. If I were to have done a kung fu chop on my own glasses, could you fix them? Is there some type of warranty? If there's not, then they just fell apart. <laughs> so I'm going to run in here and, and see what these guys will say. I don't know how I should approach it, brother. I just looked in my side view my side mirror right here and all I saw was my chest that did not work out all right let's see where can I park oh right there in the front row daddy whoa brother calm down you need to slow down all right let's see it all oh, yeah I'll be the only person in there it looks like I like that okay let me run in here and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Well, I tell you guys what, how absolute oh hello puppy. How are you, sir? Hello, you sure do look good. You sure do look are you a little girl? You are a little girl. You sure do look pretty, young lady. I tell you what, the people inside of that store were absolutely incredible. They absolutely took care of me. I mean they fixed my glasses, we laughed, they told me jokes, I told them jokes, I laughed. <laughs> That's because my jokes are funny, you get it? Uh, oh, what we got going on here? Oh, the Mustanger, the old Stanger. Uh, I should stop all the way. Put it in the first gear. Sir? I am absolutely obeying all street laws. It was like it just missed there all of a sudden. I mean, they were really and truly, man, I tell you what, I'm always complaining to you guys. Well, I wouldn't, compl I wouldn't say complaining. I'm always talking about customer service and the lack of customer service these days in a lot of businesses. And that one now, here's the difference. The one, is that a, that's, an electrical cord or something tied off to that tree can you see that it's tied off to that tree and it goes up to the cord or to the telephone pole do you think that's live i'm gonna need somebody to go over there and put their tongue on it <laughs> i'm always talking about how customer service seems like a lost art these days that store right there that america's best store those people rocked it out man absolutely great so Kudos to them. Even the America's Best in Franklin, Tennessee, they're just not that great. They don't have the best customer service. I'm a big fan, baby. Oh, let me tell you guys what's coming up on a future video. I've been asked to uh, ride a couple 2023 motorcycles. Some old HDs, baby. I'm not exactly sure when those are going to come out. I haven't filmed them yet. I just got to find some time in my schedule. My schedule and Mrs. OMG's schedule have been nuts. And we are on the spring breakage. Even making videos right now has been difficult for me. But hopefully here soon that will ease up on me just a little bit. Come on. Come on. Come on, granddaddy. Out there in front of me, brother. I 
mean, I was only doing 30 miles an hour. <laughs> Everybody's kind of pulling out in front of everybody. See, that's karma right there, old buddy. Somebody pulled out in front of you. They did it Tennessee style right there. That's also called Southern style. A tent for a tack. And then if they're real frisky, they'll throw in a yee-haw behind it. Yo, Rudy Toot. Yeah, I don't know what a Rudy Toot is. That's like Red Rat Signed In. That's an old Tennessee saying too. I don't even know what a Red Rat Signed In is. I didn't even know there was such thing as a Red Rat. But I told y'all guys, I, I told you guys that story before about my old buddy that used to said, oh, you old dirty no Red Rat Signed In. Yeah, always. As you can tell, this is a squirrel moment for me. Oh, this is recorded, by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.